Hey guys, what's up? This is Parry here, back for some more Subnautica on the PC. And I have actually switched to the experimental branch, so I am going to be playing on that from now on. Unfortunately, I had to ditch my old CF file there, but as you can see, we have a new, uh, you know, we have a new area here, advanced, on the actual fabricator, which is kind of cool. Anything else new here? Copper wire, that's new. Um, what else we got? Disinfected water, that's new. Or at least I think it is, right? Unfortunately, there is no cooked food right now. I kind of don't know why. Um, Dave Real. Okay, I think that's new as well. Uh, there might be some bugs as I play this because it is an experimental branch. But, hopefully, we should be okay. Hopefully, we should be okay. And this is new completely. Titanium Magnet. Uh, Stalker Tooth. I assume that's some sort of mob. Plastilingit. What else we got? We got a computer chip as well. Silver jewel disc piece. That's all new stuff. Um, I'm kind of hoping it won't take me too long here to grab some stuff. Because uh, <laughs> I have nothing. And it seems that the spawn area has gotten a little bit of a makeover here. As you can see. I'm going to try and get my first peeper here. No chance. So let's go and grab some metal and get uh, a sea glider on the go. Now I have been told that... Uh, I have been told that there's a bunch of cool stuff to explore in this one. Uh, let me just check one more thing while I'm here. Blueprints. Wow. Look at all of this. So this is uh, underwater uh, bases. And uh, I think we can build one of those. Right? So that's what I want to do. That's what I want to try and do in this little sort of series. Um, I guess this is sort of an introduction one. Uh, in the future, I'm going to try and cut out all the grandy work, but just for the first episode here, I want to, you know, I, I want to keep most of it on camera just to show you guys what I'm doing here. So, we got copper immediately. That's insanely lucky, because copper is a rare drop, so that should help us quite a bit. Um, we got some quartz, which I didn't even see there. Did we get that? I think we did. And the spawn area has been uh, changed quite a bit here, I'm noticing. There's another bit of copper. Holy smokes, we're getting lucky here. And there's a bunch of new things we can make with a copper wire and uh, all that jazz. But I think the first thing you want to grab here is um, some basic materials and also some scrap metal. I don't want to go too deep right now because, well, I haven't really got much to go deep with. I do have a backup of my old CF file. Titanium, that's a new piece of item um, that you couldn't get previously. Not sure, I'm just getting really lucky here. There's some new mobs in here as well, which I'm kind of afraid of. And, uh... I'm not sure where to go with that. So I was told that you can't actually get a fab... You cannot actually get a fabricator on the submarine, the Cyclops. Um, there's some sort of bug with that right now, so... I'm hoping... That that will be fixed pretty soon. Again, I think the experimental branch of this game is updated um, quite a bit. Oh gosh, there's mobs. Get away. Get away from me. So, up we go. I don't know if every spawn area is different, but... There's a bunch of copper. Um, I have been, I've been told that, unfortunately... Uh, that... Uh, Speed fish have been nerfed, so they no longer provide uh, water. That means we're gonna need to get a lot of salt. I am having no luck getting this peeper today, so I'm gonna need to go and try and grab some more uh, scrap metal while I'm here. But again, this first episode is just sort of an introduction to the experimental features, um, and we'll go from there. Now I don't know, I don't know if uh, scrap metal's drop rate has been reduced. I want to say it seems like it because. Usually I'd have a lot more luck with it right right now. And I'm wondering if the exosuit is available because I would definitely love to go and check out some other areas if I can. But there's some scrap metal there, luckily. Hopefully there's no mobs down here. Nice little piece there. Anything there? Not that I can see. Oh, sugar! What is a shark doing up here? I have no clue. I have absolutely no clue. But back on the escape pod we go. And... 
Titanium? Oh, you can actually build scrap metal with titanium? That's really cool. I wonder what that power meter up top is, as you can see. I, I have no clue what that is. But we have, uh, we have some stuff here we can build now, right? A sea glide is probably going to be first on my list, if I can get that. Uh, sea glide... Where you at? Where the hell does sea glide go? Equipment... Dive reel... Where did they put the sea glide? Has been removed? Uh, fabricator, I already have one of those. A wall, a room. No. Maybe I am missing something? Maybe it'll be an advanced. I would assume it would be right. A sea glider. No. Sh oh, wait, did I miss it? Yeah, there it is there. Par sail. How are we getting a par sail? So we have titanium. We need copper wire. How are we getting copper wire? This is all new to me, guys. Copper wire. Copper wire is too copper. I do have copper, so we can make some copper wire. Um, that's going to be my basic. It feels like an entire new game, to be honest. I'm um, right now with all the different recipes. I'm going to use this. So we got the copper wire. Okay. And what else we got? We need a power cell. How do we create a power cell? Is it a battery? Acid mushroom? So that used to be zinc and uh, carbon, but now it's acid mushroom and cover. I wonder if we can eat those acid mushrooms. Uh, we need a power cell. Power cell is a, two batteries and some silicone. So a battery is the acid mushroom and the copper and the silicone is quartz. So we got the silicone. We're on the hunt for acid mushrooms. Um, I have no clue where to get them. I really don't. So, good luck with that, my friends. Good luck with that. I need to get some food badly. And I think I'm going to have to be a bit cheeky here and grab... Oh, sugar! Huh? Vital signs. What? Was, what? So picking them hurts your health? Okay, I don't know. So they must be acidic, right? I need three. I love that sound. <laughs> oh, that is crazy. So previously that didn't even happen. Uh, any sharks around here? Not that I can see. Oh, sugar, I'm on four. Oxygen. Okay, now we've got these. Um, I'm just head on down. Don't see any sharks, thankfully, so he should be sweet. I'm gonna take this earth sack, I guess. Get some food. Awesome. And I'm gonna get the scrap metal. And I can just eat that now, right? Unless we can find some salt. I must say, the generation for the terrain here looks a lot nicer. Um, compared to the previous builds that I've been running. There's some salt right there. You guys see that? Salt deposit. So let's get over and cook us a feast. I don't know if you can cook food. I kind of hope you can. Because I didn't really see it. Unless there's like a new area for cooking or I need to make... Oh! Oh, I see. So by default you can actually not... Cooked or sec. Interesting. I need copper. Okay, we're in the hunt for copper then again. Um, I don't like the look of this going at night time, but if we can get our sea glide today and go back out in the hunt, I would appreciate that. What the frick is that? So I'm looking for uh, rock deposits to grab these. Man, it's so weird playing with nothing when you're used to having something. Like, oh, is that, is that a new mob? I don't think I've seen that before. Is it? Hopper fish? Hoop fish? Interesting. Peavers are so damn fast. So, a new mob. I'm expecting a lot of new mobs here, to be honest. And I'm gonna stay at relatively early depth here, just because... I'm really not sure what awaits me in this build. 
There's a Gary fish. My favorite. Big coral tubes. What? What? Is, what? Hold on. It says I could do something with that. Oh, it doesn't really do anything. Okay. Can I eat? Uh, plus, that's not good. I can't. I can't. Oh gosh. Those guys are there. I can't see the hoop fish. So close to catching that peeper as well. I must say, I'm not a huge fan at night. Um, that acid mushroom, I don't want to go near it. I will grab a few of these ursacs. Huh? Right. So we're going to need to grab some salt. If we can, although I'm having a hard time locating the salt deposits. I don't know if the spawn rate has been decreased or not. But it looks a lot more lively here in this build. I can definitely say that much. So this is honestly really cool for me. Is that some salt there? That's quartz. But I'm going to try and be getting as much stuff as I can here. So, I wonder, right, I wonder, right, if I can, uh, oh, wow, that's pretty cool. All you need is an Ursac for some filtered water. I'm not sure if that's meant to be like that, though. I'm going to just eat the Ursacs, I guess. I'll eat that Gary fish as well. And then I'll just make some more water with this one. So, it says par 90%. How do I par my thing, though? Is there something I need to build? A generator? Uh, wiring kit. Par cell. I guess I need a par cell. But what do I need for the... This feels a lot different now with uh, the new recipes in here. I'll tell you that much. Um... So if we have originally, I was gonna uh, originally I was gonna actually cut all the grinding out, but it seems like it's an entirely different game at this point, just with all the different recipes. Because there's so much different things you need to do. So I don't know, guys. Let me know. Like, do you want me to grind it out on screen or off screen? And I'll make that adjustment for the next episode. But we're still in the process of going for our sea glide today, and we need a uh, parcel. And the parcel is silicone. We need the battery. Uh, we need copper. We need two copper. So we have the acid mushroom. I just need the copper. I, I, I'm gonna throw him back in the sea. I have no idea what to do with those guys, and there's a point in me just keeping them. Is this a new creature? Ooh, a whole fish. Can I eat it? I can eat the whole fish, cool. As long as it's food, I want it, man. As long as it's food. So, on the hunt for rock depots, depots, deposits, whatever. I think they've increased the spawn rate of creatures. Though, I said that a lot, though, haven't I? Big coral tubes. See, that shark over there is really disturbing me at this point. I'm not used to being so weak. Oh my gosh, what's this guy? No, please, have they, have they actually given this guy a name? No, they have not. That guy is just like the lone wanderer. He's in the game, but nobody knows who he is. <laughs> Up we go. Okay. So that early game copper was really nice. But I am not sure... If I have any more of it. Did I even use the copper? I don't think I did, to be honest. So it might just be in there still. Oxygen. 50%. Hmm. I would like to get you back. Oh, Peeper, you troll! You troll! Oh, there we go. Some titanium, nice. It's cool the way you can just get scrap metal now after titanium. Although I think to accommodate that, they've actually uh, reduced bladderfish. 
I guess the bladderfish was the default code name for the Ersec. Is what I'm assuming here. Um, I think I should should have some copper here, right? Old fish. Yeah, I do have copper. Nice. And I have the acid mushrooms and I have the silicone. So let's go over here and build two batteries. To get our sea glider. I need a par cell though. I'll do it. Oh, yeah. Finally, man. Now we can go a lot faster. Feels good, man. Feels good. Yeah, I'm not going that way. No way. I want to go down here, but I'm afraid of there being... Enemies. Oh, like, shit like that scares me. The fact that my own oxygen bubbles are scaring me is... Not good. Although, part of me is curious... Well, now I can catch these peepers. This is nice. Probably gonna be using those as my main source. But the fact that our, uh, sorry, our sacks are now filtered water sources is pretty neat on my watch. So I'd like to ideally get a bit of food before I leave here. Close, close, close. Get back here, you dumb peeper! Oxygen, 25%. Right, I have to get a peeper here, come on. come on. I want my first peeper! Oh my gosh, why? Why? Yes, copper. Cool. Seems copper plays a much more integral role in the game now that, uh... Yes! Get wrecked. Oxygen, 50%. More scrap metal. And by me, any salt deposits around here? Carry fish, nice. Nope. Yeah, I do feel that, uh... I even... Oh, this is nice, actually. This is kind of like a little island, isn't it? Gary fish everywhere. Huh. See, where's this guy? What is he? I don't even know. Any salt? I need to go and eat. I know, I know. I think the sucky thing here is I'm going to have to eat raw. Which I don't want to do. Where's the scrap metal? I didn't even see that. But I really don't mind eating raw food because I do have like an infinite source of water anyway. Break all these chunks. Titanium. Hmm. That is getting annoying as heck. I need to build some tanks so I can go deeper next episode. Okay, let's go back to the base before we starve to death. No, my luck. We probably will. What the heck's that? Is this metal? There we go. Not bad. Is this peeper stuck? Because I will gladly take it. Ah, yes, salt. As well, not bad. <laughs> so it seems salt is a lot more... Sp not more hard to get. He says as he automatically finds two salt pieces back to back. So let's go in and check out... Uh, ooh, ah... 
our new stuffs. So we got the Gary fish. Cool. Um, I oh, you can actually cook the whole fish, but again, I think the best one here is the peeper, a salty feast. I mean, if it describes it as a feast, it surely should give us quite a bit, right? And I'll get a couple of bottles of water to go with that. Holy smokes, guys, it's day one. Aren't we already dining like a king? Pretty sick. Right, let's see what we got. We got a uh, cake peeper. Nice. Nice. Get a wee drink of water there. I made some Gary fish as well. And I'll just chug back those three. So far, so good, and I'm gonna, you know, treat myself here to... Oh, wow, you need glass for a tank? Interesting. I mean, glass is hopefully still the same recipe, right? No, it's triple quartz instead of, uh, quartz and sand now. I have any more quartz? I do not. Let me just go get one more bit of quartz. If I can find some. It would be a shame if I couldn't. It really would be a shame. Get back here, Garfish. I do want to stay away from that. There's some in there. Please don't tell me there's those. Oxygen. 50%. In and out, in and out. Yum. Oxygen. Yeah, because that, that does get annoying, doesn't it? Every two seconds. But interesting mechanic now that the mushrooms actually hurt you. Although it does make sense. Acid, you know, battery batteries need acid. So we'll get that. I got a tank. I actually got an achievement there, Aqua Lung. And I think it's actually seconds. I have seventy seconds. No, I don't have seconds. Because the air seems to go down a lot quicker. Let me just chill down here. Oh, it is seconds. It's three seconds. So it's 70 seconds of time I have underwater. That makes sense. I never thought it was seconds. I thought it was just an arbitrary number they made up. But on that note, guys, I'm going to sign out here. This Subnautic update is really interesting. It's the experimental branch. Um, I'm loving it so far. It's an entirely different game now, I think. Um, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what's below. I'm hoping to build an underwater base. So guys, let me know what you think. If you want to see some more, I will gladly do some. Let me know what you thought about the Grand Inn as well. Do you want it on screen or off screen? I personally think I probably should show it just because it's a lot of, you know, cool stuff now that everything just seems different. But if you guys don't want it, again, I will uh, edit it out. So yeah, thanks so much for watching, and I shall catch you guys in the next episode of Subnautica. This is Pirate, signing out. Have a very nice day, and bye-bye.